Good evening, Mario, Carlos, and Matia. How are you today? Hi, good evening, teacher. That's nice to hear that, Carlos. Good evening, Matiel. Are you at home, Carlos, or you're driving? Yes, I'm at my home. Oh, okay, nice. Where about you, Matiel? I you am at way? home. Nice. Yeah. So, no traffic today, or kind of? Mm, so far. Um, so, so. Yes, so, so. And oh. what about you, teacher? How was your... Your evening. Oh, my day. Uh, it's been um really good. I, I did a lot of things that I have pending. I run uh, many errands. So, yes, it, it was very, very productive. <laughs> good evening, everybody. Good evening, Samuel. How are you today? Fine. A little bit sick, but fine. All right. Nice. And how was your day? Busy, 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 busy. <laughs> no, uh, Very hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a uh, uh, in my job. Uh, how do you say rifa? The rifa. Raffle. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. We have uh, a raffle, raffle, a motorcycle. Oh, wow. For the uh, pedidos ya people. Uh, for it. <laughs> last <laughs> or? Okay. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. I work in, in Sarsa Prosa. I'm ah, a marketing, okay. Okay. okay, I'm a marketing manager. Uh -huh. uh, I see, I saw, no, I see Aquipago, Aeroflash, Aeromol, Sarsa Prosa. Then Aquipago uh, use pedidos ya to pay the the rent of pedidos ya. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people using our agents. And then for then for para que estén felices. So they for them to be happy. And we give them a motorcycle, uh jackets, uh umbrellas, a lot of promotional thing. Uh a liquor bottles and and we do that all all the afternoon. Okay. And the people was very 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 happy, and the and the man who win the the motorcycle is it was working at that moment. Estaban entregando un pedido y y teníamos 50 motociclistas ahí metidos en porque lo hicimos en una gente de AMPM se llama es una tienda de conveniencia ah ok y entonces le llamamos y no contestaba ah, no ya no otro 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 son dos ah. oportunidades le volvimos a llamar y en la segunda me contestó oh my god entonces qué tal fulano de tal sí el de Nilsson se llama por cierto pero te informo que te acabas de ganar una moto cómo espérame y toda la gente gritando eh, que no se quede que no se quede Y cómo no le escuché que te acabas de ganar la moto que estábamos rifando. ¿Qué? ¿En serio? Ya se le quebró la voz al tipo. Oh Entonces nosotros nos, ponemos, nos vamos a poner en contacto, le digo, eh, para poder hacer la entrega. Pero la entrega la vamos a hacer en, en 15 días. Pero en eso pasamos toda la tarde. Oh, but that was exciting and it was a blessing for Mr. Denison today. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Okay. By the way, what's up is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> Carlos, I'm sorry to read that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> okay. Así molesto yo a mis compañeros de trabajo con cualquier cosita, cualquier bromita o solo para reírse de mis cosas. Yes, you know that it is a good, even a laughing is like a medicine. Yes, that's good. So in my case, I run errands today. Ahí se los puse en el chat para que lo utilicen. Eso es hacer mandados. Yes, I run errands today. I did a lot of things. And then... Um, and my husband asked me, can you go with me for coffee? And I said, sure, of course, <laughs> I need it. So that was my, my break today. 
and then I, I came to teach. So yes, it's been very productive. And it worked for your bag, excellent, Carlos. And I think that for most of you. Uh, so yes, many of us um, quite frequent, we run errands, yes, all the time. So thank you so much for being on time. Um, today we have a very, very, very interesting topic. Um, so let's start. I present the the presentation because I did some, um, I, I modified it. So I send it back again. And guess who's back? Alejandro and his father. <laughs> So we're going to start a conversation and it, this is like, uh, yes, Alejandro and his father, you remember that they were discussing about a new product and et cetera. So I'm going to read the conversation for you and then you tell me if you have any question. It says, um, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test would be the best option because it allows customer to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that, son. Great. And as for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa's Sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype or target audience, marketing, etc. So you see, at the end, father was <laughs> collaborating with their son. So um, do you have any question in regards of this conversation? Variables, teacher. Uh, variables. Variables. Son variantes. Variables. Variables. Okay. It's like a tongue twister. It's quite difficult. <laughs> y allow, allow, allow. 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 Permitir. Uh -huh. Allow. Consumer. Allow. Okay. Excellent, Cristina. Thank you for your questions. Is there any other question? All right. If you don't have more questions, let's see. Do we have two volunteers to role play the conversation? Ay, Mara, I need another volunteer. Magdiel, thank you so much. Okay, you can start, Ay, Mara. Okay. Uh, good night. <laughs> we are ready, no, perdón, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? Sure. I think we sent, um, Handling test would be the best option because it allows customer to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the products be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that song. Great. 
as for the metal. I was thinking about the money mo monadic cons consumers will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the papa sandwich. You are learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target, audience, marketing, etc. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it beautiful. Just a couple of words, and this is the first site. 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 Mm -hmm. Then the other is method. Method. Let's see. The other one is consumers. Consumers. And the last one, coherent. Coherent. Then, pretty good. Uh, do we have two more volunteers to continue practicing? To my volunteers. Carla and Mario, thank you so much, Carla, Ivania, and Mario. Okay, uh, we are ready to test your new product. What do we do? First, first I think the sign a handing test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variable? Will that product be branded or not? I let you decide at, at that song. Good, good. For the me too, me too. Method. I was method ten stitch. As for the method, I was thinking about the moral monadic. 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 Consumer will will eat and taste your product first and then will rate it. I feel it more current for your new product, the Papa Sandwich. To learn it song, we have so much work to do. We have to discuss about for our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Excellent. You did it pretty good. Thank you so much for your participation. And it's um, basically the same words that are troubling us. So we will repeat. The, okay, let me find the first one is allows, allows, allows. Then next word was great, great. Then we continue with the method, method, method. Next word was consumers, consumers. And the last word, coherent, coherent. Okay, thank you so much. Do we have two more volunteers? No teacher. Cristina, okay, Cristina, and who wants to practice with Cristina? Mm -hmm. uh, volunteer to practice with Cristina? Okay, I start. We are ready to test Bye. our new product. What do we do? We go, teacher. Okay, go, Francisco Acuña. Okay, Francisco. Okay. We are ready to test our new product. Product. What do we do? First, I think the scene of 
only this would be the best option because it's a low customer <laughs> to see the product smell it's a smell it and taste it. What about the other party? Para I said a palabra teacher. Variables. Variables. Okay. What about the other variables? Uh, will the product be branded or not? I the say or that song. Um, there. As for the method, he was thinking about. I was thinking. Oh, no, I pronounce as thinking, teacher. Yes, I was thinking. I was okay. MPS. Then as for the method, I was thinking about the monadic consume consumers will uh, um, consumers. Lo iba diciendo bien. Consumers. <laughs> consumers will add a uh, taste or product first, and then will rate it. I think it more coiring for our new product product the papa sandwich. You're ready, so we have so much work to do. We have to use about our potential customer. The profile prototype. Sorry? Prototype. Prototype or target audience marketing. Etc. Okay, you did it really nice. Uh, just a couple of words. It says a product uh, first. First. And the last one, coherent. Coherent, okay. Coherent. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much for uh, participating, for taking the chance. Thank you, guys. So let's continue now with the next part. Okay. What type of test do they decide to apply? What testing testing method would they implement for the Papa sandwich and why? What are the next decisions Alejandro and his dad will take about testing the new Papa sandwich? So this is on page 20 of your material. And if you want to work on that, you can work on your PDF file. It's on page 20. Or you can do it in that PowerPoint. I'm going to create the breakout rooms for you to answer the questions in group. If necessary, you can read the conversation back again. So let me create the rooms. Alrighty. Por un momento pensé que se había vuelto invisible. Good evening, partners. Good evening. Good evening. No contestamos de un solo. Ah. 
alguien va a compartir la pantalla. Compartir yo. Se puede ver. Sí, sí, se ve bien. las contestamos o volvemos a practicar no sé como gusten así que practicamos una vez más este Mario démosle pues pues voy a comenzar yo ok we are ready to test our new products what do you what do we do Yes, I think you see a handling test will be best option because it's a local customer to see the product, feel it, smell it, and take it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that song. Great. As for the missile, I was thinking about the monadic, the monadic customers will eat and taste our products first, and they will rate it. It find it more coherent for our new products, the Papa's sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer. the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. No sé si hay Mara o Víctor. Yeah. You're doing it great. Lo están haciendo bien. Pueden seguir practicando. Solo escuché otra vez coherent. Es a coherent. Miss Fernanda, but it's okay. You did it good. Okay, uh, me, <laughs> with who? Con um, Victor, no sé si Victor está disponible. Oh, okay, Mary. sí. Okay. You first, please. Oh. Victor. Okay. Uh, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handy, handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and test it. Taste it. Taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? Uh, I'll let you decide on that song. Great. As for the metal, I was thinking about the Mona ID. Consumers will eat and taste or product first, and then we rate it. I find, find it more coherent. For our new product, the Papa's Sandwich. You are learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Okay, pretty good, excellent. Now I remember, and this word is variables. What about the other variables? Then the right. next word, consumers. Consumers. Then coherent. Coherent. And the last word, discuss. Discuss. Okay. Um, you decide if you continue practicing. 
you can go ahead. I let you decide on that song. Well, as for the method, I was thinking about the monadic customers will act and taste our product first and then will read it. I think it's more coherent for our new product the papa sandwich you're lucky so we have so much work to do we have to discuss about our potential customer the prototype or target audience marketing etc okay thank you francisco hoy no sé cuánto ah somos seis de hace falta dos Uh -huh. Just que... remember, um, solo recordar las palabras con la de Alejandro, la última. Great. 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 Uh -huh. Great. Uh, consumers. Y allow. <laughs> uh, coherent. Y coherent. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're doing good. Uh -huh. But you need practice. Ok, thank you. Teacher, uh... La, no sé si está bien pronunciada donde dice discuss. Uh, discuss. 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 Uh -huh. Discuss. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Solto, solo falta Elizabeth, ¿verdad? que practique con uno de nosotros, ¿verdad? Yes, you can practice the last time and then you can answer the questions. Sí, lo que no sé si estará solo de oyente o, o estará ahí activa. Sí, está, sí está conectada. Uh -huh. Elizabeth va a practicar. ¿Será que tenemos tiempo? Porque tenemos que contestar las preguntas también. Ah, pues contestemos las preguntas. Gracias. Según la conversación, vamos a contestar las preguntas. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, tiene razón. No hay más tiempo. Va, entonces. What I of this today decide to apply? ¿Qué tipo de prueba deciden aplicar? Pues? No sé a qué se refiere eso. Yeah, apply. Idea? Uh -huh. ¿Qué tipo de prueba deciden aplicar? Vamos a ver la conversación. De monadic. De monadic. De monadic. Okay. Sí. Capaz de ser la respuesta de la 1. Yeah. Mm. Hey, no, tenés razón, tenés razón, tenés razón. I think. Can I do right? The second one yeah, is the monadic. <laughs> yeah. That I would just say that. The answer of the second uh, is monadic. The number one. The number one could be signed and handling test. Yes. Lo puede escribir, Magdiel, si es tan amable. Yes. <clears throat> okay.
in chat. Eso sería la respuesta de... De la 1, de la 1. First one. Second. In this case, this is uh, a monodic test, monodic method. Repeat. Samuel. The monodic method. The monadic method. Así monadic. Es, así es la, la tos, la tu. De monadic method. Uh -huh. And the question say. Why? I think could be on the chat. I think that could be, could be, I'm sure, be explaining.
Hello, ¿Tiene? Así está o bien. Sea, um, o sea, lo que, lo que, ajá. O sea, que le darán de prueba a los clientes para que ellos, ajá, lo califiquen, correcto. The consumer will have a um, taste of products first. Um, Yes, but uh, the first question, third answer is the monadic method. After that, because the customer consumer no, no, and the second one Because the question said what? And after that says why. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. I think uh, it's okay. I don't know. What do you think?
What do you think about the last question? Will you put again the slide number eight, Magdal, please? Number number eight. Yeah. Yes. We're on the previous number one. nine. Uh -huh. Can uh, you show the previous? Francisco, Francisco is shorting. Okay. I Francisco. think if you move. Samuel, Samuel wants to see the, the uh, conversation slide. or you yeah. can start a new share with the PDF because don't worry, I I'm I look at in my in my in my WhatsApp. Okay. Well, let's check attendance first, and then we're going to share your responses to the exercise. So let's say present as soon as you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you so much. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Abigail Mejia. Creo que escribí en WhatsApp que no tiene internet. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cota. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemi Ramos.
Okay. Thank you so much for confirming, Cecilia. And we hope that you feel better. Uh, I cannot imagine how much pain you're suffering, but I hope that you get well soon. Uh, let's continue with Francisco Ernesto. Present, yes. Thank you. Person Alexis is not present today. Gertrudis Armada. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Hazel is just listening today, right? Okay, Carlos. Uh, yes, we saw you. the internet kick you out. So thank you so much for letting us know, Carlos. Julissa Yamile. Julissa Yamile. Okay. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Present Miss. Thank you, Luis. Magdiel. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Marilina Alejandra. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Okay, thank you, Julissa, for writing. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Samuel Antonio. Present. Thank you. Santos Cristina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Santos Cristina. And Victor Noé. Victor, maybe he's experiencing some issues as well. Okay, uh, let me continue sharing. And then, okay, we had the three questions here. Um, would anybody like to share the screen or you want to discuss um, the answers verbally. Um, what test, what type of test do they decide to apply? Any volunteer or someone would like to share? Uh -huh. Sign and handling test. Yes, excellent, Mike Bill. Thank you so much for your answer. The type of test is the sight and handling test. Um, number two, what testing method will they implement for the Papa sandwich and why? I think I think the answer is the mon monadic. Uh -huh. Excellent. Yeah. The monadic method. Why? Because the customer will eat and taste our product first and then we'll rate it. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the correct answer. Thank you so much, Aymara. And finally, number three, what are the next decisions Alejandro and his dad will take about tasting the new Papa sandwich? Hmm. Number three, what are the next decisions Alejandra and his dad will take about testing the new Papa sandwich? The monadic. Hmm. That was the answer for number two. Um, uh, they have to 
this is about the potential uh, customer, the prototype, or the target audience, the marketing, the brand, the colors. They have a lot of things to do. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you so much, Samuel. Thank you guys for your information for this exercise. You did a very good job. And now let's take a look to the next exercise. It's another conversation. But in this one, we're going to pay close attention to the words involved, such as in addition and furthermore. Let me read the conversation for you, and then we will practice a little bit and go into the grammar topic. Uh, and this conversation is between Moises and Fernanda. Let's see. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, my says. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with target or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, that's the conversation. Do we have volunteers to role play? Yeah, teacher. Thank you, Christina. Anybody else to practice with Christina? Mario, thank you. Okay, empiezo. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at last at least at least twenty-four when? participants to collect accurate result. Will we work with target or random samples in addiction? We need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location location of each. We're right because we want to find out the overall overall perception perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well designing designing questionnaire questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today is in the afternoon. So we were on it. Hoy reversa, teacher, o solamente una. Yes, you can go all the way. No sé si gusta, empiece usted, Mari. Okay. How do you make any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moise, sure Moises. We will have three groups or group groups. Sure, my sure, my We will have three three groups of uh, like twenty four participants to collect accurate 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 accurate, 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 
are correct results. Where we work with targeted on random samples. In addition, he needs to discuss who will be monitoring his group and the location of his. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it is necessary to create a well dressing questionnaire. To get the specific information we require, require I'll, I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. Thank you, Don Mario. Thank you, teacher, for the participation. Thank you. You did a very good job. You did a very, very good job. Um, I know there are some, like, uh, I just hear one word, but it's accurate. Accurate, and that's it. You did it very good. Thank you, Magdiel. Accurate. Okay. Okay. Who wants to practice with Magdiel? Okay. I have Carla. You can go ahead, Magdiel and Carla. <clears throat> I'm Moses. Yes. Okay. How do you make any progress with the samples, the sample selection for the folks group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with target of random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who, who will be monitoring each group and location of each. You are right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well designed Questionnaire to get this specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. Teacher, you. Uh, you want could to you tell me um, one more time? One more time. To Pronounce the accurate. 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 It's okay. Accurate. Okay. Accurate. Thanks. You're more than welcome. Oh, anybody else to work by? Two more? No more volunteers? Okay, now let's answer these three questions. Uh, how many focus group will participate in the test? What type of sample has Fernanda selected for the, their testing process? And who will design the questionnaire?
teacher, the number one, it was three groups. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is correct. It's two, three groups. Now let's see the type of sample that Fernanda selected for the testing process. Okay, so number one, you say three groups. It's correct. How many faculty will participate in the test? It is two groups. Now, number two, what type of samples has Fernanda selected for the testing process? Oops.
Could you find the answer for number two? What type of sample has Fernanda selected for their testing process? Random test. Excellent. Random sample. Random sample. Aha, uh -huh, that's correct. It's a random sample. Um, and number three, who will design the questionnaire? Lucas. Lucas and Moises. And Moises. Yes, excellent. Thank you so much for the answer, Mario. Okay, now these um the topic in this um conversation. Um, it is focused on the transition words. For example, in addition and furthermore are transition words. They are similar in meaning to also. Oh, they are uh, synonyms. They mean basically the same. And you can see here it, uh, it's on your material on page 22. Um, transitions were how to use transitions of addition. There are different kinds of transitions were um, in the conversation, which is um, included too. In the sentence, it says transition words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides add information, reinforce ideas, and express agreement with ideas that have been presented previously. And those are some functions that they have. In the sentence, will we work with target or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss how we'll be hosting each group and the location of each. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. Those are the examples taken from the conversation. And you see there the transitions were in addition and furthermore. In the sentence, in order to select a focus group, to test a product, it is important to gather a group of participants who make direct use of the final product or service. Moreover, it is necessary to choose a moderator for every for every group. Uh, now, punctuation, a back punctuation is this. Notice that the transition in addition and furthermore in A and B are preceded by a question mark in a period and followed by a comma because they were using a question, right? So um, in C, the transition moreover is preceded by a semicolon and followed by a comma. The decision to separate the two ideas with a period question mark plus transition or with a semicolon plus transition is a matter of personal style. So don't worry too much about it. <laughs> so you can do either other way and it's a, it's a personal style according to this. Uh, transition words in this case, uh, we are going to work with transitions of additions. Um, to study a little bit more about this, I have a uh, reading material. Let me, oh, let me share it then. Let's stop. Mm Okay, mm, I have this. These are just transitions of addition. Um, este, ahorita les voy a presentar esto de las eh, trans, de transitions of addition porque son las que tenemos en el material, pero eh, hay más. Estas son de, de para 
agregar información, unir ideas, eh, pero hay más. Vamos a verlas todas porque todas las que podamos, porque son muchas, son muchísimas. Eh, entonces vamos a ampliar un poquito en esto eh, para que vean acá. It is also, furthermore, moreover, besides, todas significan lo mismo, además. Además, si ustedes eh, van curiosamente al traductor y ponen furthermore, moreover, besides, le va a decir además, además, además. Todas significan lo mismo. Esto es para no estar repitiendo, por ejemplo, cuando necesitamos unir ideas que agregan información. Lo más común es usar also para decir también. Pero si está haciendo un párrafo y necesita decir también más de una vez o además de esto, aquello, aquello, aquello. Además, además, no vamos a estar diciendo also, 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 and, and, and. Entonces, para eso nos sirve que hayan más de una opción. Y tienen una pequeña diferencia, eh, aunque el significado es el mismo, tienen alguna connotación diferente, alguna de ellas, pero el significado y el uso es el mismo. Todas significan además. Entonces son, por eso se dicen transitions of addition. Eh, son transitions, como les decía, los, los, los nombres gramaticales a veces son como un poco, eh, dan miedo cuando escuchamos transitions of addition, reduction of adverbial clauses y todo eso. Eh, no le hagamos mucho, tema, mucho caso al, al, al nombre del tema, pero sí. Estas son palabras que nos sirven para unir ideas en las cuales estemos agregando información, añadiendo. Entonces, para eso les eh, conseguí esto, para que veamos solo las que tenemos ahorita en el material y luego vamos a ir ampliando. Eh, they are non-interchangeable transitions where like also, furthermore, moreover, and besides. These four words are often listed together as synonyms in some reading guide. They are counted as interchangeable. In fact, they are not their actually important differences. Lo que les estaba diciendo, son intercambiables. No tienen una gran diferencia en decir cuándo voy a usar esta, aquello, lo otro. Eh, no es importante. Si hay alguna diferencia es mínima. Y pues eh, continuando en la lectura, there is almost nothing more frustrating than reading over a, a paper where it's painfully obvious that the author in effort to vary the language has randomly thrown in a furthermore or a moreover or even beside just to spice things up without any respect to the differences and or their connotation. Transitions will have to connect the right things, not just any uh, two ideas that happen to find themselves by sight. I read over many manuscripts written by authors who do not seem to understand this, and it can be especially confusing for topping for non-native English speakers. Entonces, como ven, incluso hay autores de libros que pues los usan así al random, eh, sin importar si tienen alguna diferencia o no, en el sentido que le den a, a, al, al párrafo, al manuscrito, a lo que estén haciendo. Um, ahí está, uh, hay un manuscrito por ahí, uh, una publicación, The Difference Between Words to sin Synonyms in the English Language, y ahí está la cita. Um, furthermore, y aquí nos dice, is properly used when there is need only to add more reason to those before mentioned. Es como el furthermore, aunque todos significan además, es uh, usado cuando hay necesidad de únicamente de agregar más uh, alguna razón adicional a lo que ya se mencionó. Eh, veamos, es uh, moreover, it's in its right place when used to add a reason of a different kind. 
Entonces, moreover, lo vamos a usar. Siempre significa lo mismo, pero cuando vamos a introducir alguna razón de un tipo diferente a la que ya se había mencionado, a diferencia de furthermore, que es algo, una idea igual, ¿verdad? De igual valor. Moreover es para dar, eh, para introducir otra idea eh, de, de, eh, de un di tipo diferente a lo que se mencionó antes. Ya vamos a practicar. Eh, con el, it's, it says, the moment is smart place. Okay. It is shift office is to add a particular respect of diversity. Es como para algo de diversidad. Uh, besides, is used with property when we would strain for a new reason to force those that were sufficient or themselves as principal offices to, to enhance abundance. Okay. Entonces, esto se lo puede mandar el enlace por si lo quieren estudiar más detenidamente. Pero como les decía, ¿verdad? Las diferencias son mínimas. Eh, ya si es alguien muy así como para evaluar gramática, sí es importante saber que hay alguna pequeña diferencia, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a estarla viendo con ejemplos y también eh, voy a compartir la, la, la ¿cómo se llama? Eh, the presentation, because yes, I included more information here for you. And about the transitions word, you know, they are words that connect to sentences. Las usamos para conectar eh, sentences, phrases, paragraph, words such as but, and so are used to provide this connection. Los más comunes son como but, and, and so. Pero a veces necesitamos usar más de un but, más, eh, más de un and, más de un so. Entonces, para eso nos sirve que hayan diferentes opciones, sinónimos de estas transition work. Uh, transition work can connect anything from short phrases to paragraph. Transition work types. Transition words are divided into different classes according to the type of transitions we want to make. There are several words specific to each classification. Sometimes they have the same meaning, uh, como las que estábamos viendo, eh, tienen el mismo significado. And sometimes they have a different meaning. Transitions uh, also show the relationship between the main idea and the sentence or in the paragraph within the order's necessary support for this idea. Eh, como vemos, aquí donde está addition, aquí vamos a encontrar las que estábamos viendo en el material, furthermore, besides, in addition, moreover, esos son para agregar, pero hay también transitions word para contrastar ideas, son las de con contrast, uh, we have however, nevertheless, alternatively, despite this, on the contrary, yet, whereas, apart from, even so, although, and in spite of and while. Esos son the contrast. Son para unir ideas opuestas. Uh, persuasion. Of course. Clearly. Evidently. Surely. Indeed. Undoubtedly. Decidedly. Certainly. For this reason. Besides. Again. Okay. Esos son como de persuasión y de ilustración también, como para dar ejemplos, ¿verdad? Estamos, la, la más común, la primera en la lista, por ejemplo, such as, esto igual decir como, como, como tal cosa, como para hacer una comparación, para dar un ejemplo e ilustrar, tenemos such as, for instance, eh, in other words, an instance as revealed by to show that in case of, as an example, for one thing. And we also have the cause and effect. Como de causa y efecto, tenemos, eh, por ejemplo, because, since, for, so, consequently, therefore, thus, hence, I want to, 
as a result of causes, as a consequence of, leads to, contribute of. And then we have transitions word of comparison. For example, of course, clearly, evidently, surely, indeed, um, undoubtedly, decidedly, certainly, for this reason, besides, and again, um, son eh, similares. Uh, bueno, son básicamente, podemos usar las mismas en ambas categorías. Eh, la de addition, que ya decíamos, and, la más común, also, también de las más comunes, y las que tenemos en el material, in addition, further, furthermore, besides, in addition to, moreover, additionally, not only, but also, uh, then, again, and finally. Esa es solo como para que tengan eh, idea de las categorías, de las transition words. Vamos a ahorita a ver las de addition. Ok. Aquí tenemos un video que vamos a ver el grupo. Eh, ahí tienen el link en la presentación para que vean un poco más de información sobre estas transition words. Um, yes. okay. Les voy a mandar el link que acabamos de leer y a continuación el del video para que puedan eh, verlo y discutirlo. Este es el que les acabo de, de compartir. Para leer, vamos a ver. And this is the video. Igual el del video está por ahí. En, en la presentación, en el PowerPoint. Pero sé que a veces es un poco difícil sacarlo de ahí. ¿Qué? Vamos a compartirlo por aquí también. En el chat de la meeting. Así es más fácil si lo tienen ahí. Y también en WhatsApp para los que quieren tener el que les quede ahí guardado. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora we are. Ok, I will create the breakout room so that you can watch the video and discuss it if necessary.
Okay, uh, so you already watched the video and you realized that the ones that are in the video showed uh, just um, the transitions word of addition, okay? And that was the purpose to have a little bit more of the information about the transitions word and addition. But also, I have this sample paragraph and as you can see, we have a comparison with a paragraph without transition word. And here, the same paragraph using a transition words to connect the ideas. If not, let's see. Let's see the first one, without transition word. Drawing is all about making the time to master each step. Mastering the art of drawing doesn't happen in a day. It's a skill that takes a daily practice. You need dedication to honor your craft. It's important not to burn yourself out. You need to stick with it. Now, let's take a look to the paragraph with the transition word. Drawing is all about taking the time to master each step. In other words, mastering the art of drawing doesn't happen in a day. Furthermore, it's a skill that takes daily practice as well as dedication to own your craft. It's important not to burn yourself out, but you need to stick with it. It sounds more uh, advanced, more like a native speaker, right? And the first uh, sample, it is just sentences, adding sentences and adding sentences. And in the second paragraph, the ideas are connected. Mm -hmm. Using different types of transitions work. No solo vamos a ver la de addiction, porque no vamos a, a si se fijan, ahí hay diferentes eh, tipos de transition work. Están las de, que son como para explicar más o para dar support. Esta, esta es una de addition, esta es una de comparison y esta es una de contrast. ¿Ok? En un párrafo tan corto, ven cuántos tipos diferentes de transition word tenemos. Y este material se los he compartido en un link, creo que es el que les acabo de mandar en WhatsApp. Y de ahí saqué este párrafito donde están comparando eh, los, un, un párrafo sin transition word y otro que ya tiene transitions. Entonces, entonces, yo, yes. entonces, ya les compartí el último link que les mandé. Es este que les puedo mostrar ahorita. Ahí estamos. Eh, transitions work in a sentence, for example. You see here, Susan wanted cake. She wanted ice cream. Susan wanted cake, but she also wanted ice cream. So we have two there. And it says, uh, they, the transitional words and phrases help make a piece of writing flow better and connect one idea with to the next because there is more than one way to connect ideas. There are many types of transitional phrases to show a variety of relationship. View several transition words and examples of phrases used in sentences paragraphs and essays. What are transitional words or phrases? So, well, transition words work to connect thoughts, sentences, and paragraphs together. Transition words are important within a sentence or paragraph because they allow your argument to flow seamlessly from one sentence through another. When introducing transitions where the most basic transitions were are conjunctions that join word phrases or clauses together, for example, words like and, but, and or can connect two sentences together. But um, as the paragraph said, they are very basic and um, we cannot be using them all the time or the same thing all the time. So we need more. And here we have a couple of examples with the most common one. I ran home and I got there just in time. 
Uh, and it's a transition word that connects two occurrences equally. Then I ran home, but I was still late. But introduce this contrast. I could run home or I could stay at school and work. And uh, this is to present two different options. Okay. Simple conjunctions serve different purposes. Knowing the different categories of transition form, we'll see below. It is going to help us to, to choose the best options about transition form. Um, some others are adverbs that describe the way an action performed or how it relates to another idea. I went to the mall after he gave me my paycheck. Bowling is a sport in which the player with the highest score wins. Conversely, the goal in golf is to get the lowest score. First, we are going fishing and then we will get ready for dinner. Okay, now uh, this is the paragraph sample that I just presented to you. It says uh, the simple transition word don't just work uh, on a singular sentence level. They can work to bring together an entire paragraph, read through the paragraph without transition word, then look at the same paragraph with transition word added. Uh, which is uh, the exercise that we already did. And then types of transitions word and phrases. Uh, this is uh, what I want to share with you. We have a type of compare and contrast, point out alternatives or difference. We have some example sentences here using compare and contrast transitions word. We have but. Similarly, or in the contrary, the boy liked birds, but he was afraid of cats. Similarly, he did not like lions and tigers. On the contrary, he liked animals that could fly, such as a sparrow and falcon. The chronology, this is a common in, in Cronología, help to define time, nos ayuda a definir el tiempo, el cuando. Um, for example, before you go home, make sure you jot down your assignments. During the evening, you can review your work. You'll be able to simultaneously eat dinner and review your work. And then we have the cause and effect. Tenemos la de causa y efecto. And they show the consequence of an action. For example, since, therefore, and as a result. This is the consequence or causa y efecto. For example, since you're such a good student, you'll get into a good college. Therefore, you can get a job you like. As a result, you should be a happy person. Then the illustratives are examples. We have it there. Alguien quiere leer estas? Illustration examples. Emphasis to introduce evidence. Your teacher. Me teacher. Hello. Hola. Creo que no se oye quizá. Who wants to read the illustrations? Ellen loves mm -hmm. uh, volunteer to be examples. I'm mad, thank you. Ellen loves ice cream, truly. She'll be happy to eat Sundays every day. Expect, I know. Specifically? Go, no lo puedo decir. Specifically, Ellen loves chocolate. 
uh, foolish brownie sundays to demonstrate her love of ice cream ellen is planning an ice cream social for the all her friends oh that's interesting so you said that is for illustration and examples please nice thank you so much addition who wants to read the ones for addition A volunteer to read the ones for addition. Mario, thank you. Addition, add information or reinforce ideas. Jonas promised to love, honor, and also obey his wife moreover we he will do all the cooking and cleaning while the studies at home furthermore he is a grateful that his new wife aims enough money to pay the bills excellent thank you so much mario clarification Volunteer to read that one for clarification. With what was possible, the graphs uh, cut us all time. The Patriots won the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Oh, sorry, Christina, we are in the clarification. Mm, ah, okay. This clarification. Okay. Show support. Show support. Okay. In other words, I want to drop off top of it another way. A school is the worst place in the world. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> thank you I, so much, Christina. Okay. Yes, thank you. I volunteer to read about the qualification. Me. Thank you so much. Present condition or intention. Why what was possibly the greatest catch of all the time? The Patriots won the Super Bowl. They almost always win big games. With this in mind, they could be called the greatest team of all time. Excellent. Thank you so much, Samar. Summary or conclusion. I volunteer to read the past summary or conclusion. Yeah, I'm finished. Me, teacher. Thank you, Christina. Mm, summary conclusion, dijo, eh? Yes. Restay it ideas. Restay ideas. Um, all the facts have been present. Um, as can. Allí sería Ken, teacher. As can. As can be seen. As can be seen, the results are clear. Given these points, it's clearly time to consider some ch changes or change. changes. Changes. Some changes. In the long run, this recommendation will benefit our company. Excellent. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you. Uh, sequence. Sequence, okay. A volunteer to read the ones for sequence. Me teacher. Thank you, Abigail. First, I have a teacher. Mm -hmm. First, first he will go to school. Then he we might meet up with some friends. Finally. His family will meet him at the park. Excellent. Thank you so much, Abigail. And as you see, there is more to read, and we have um, uh, a lot of work here to do here, right? So uh, you have the link there. I tienen a link por si quieren repasarlo también. Y hay muchas transition words. De eso sí hay un montón de material. Eh, Pero ahorita vamos a chequear asistencia por segunda vez antes de seguir con 
eh, la worksheet que les preparé. Sí. Ok, let's see. Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Mejía. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Present. Thank you. Carlos Emilio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemi. Cecia Noemi. Está malita Cecia, ¿verdad? Ok, no worry, Cecia. Aquí va a estar nada más como oyente porque no se siente bien, está conectada aún. Um, Francisco Ernesto. Gerson Alexis. Gertrudis Aymara. Present. Thank you. Excel Vanessa. Yulisa Yamile. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Matiel Saúl. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Samuel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Víctor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for uh, being still here. Okay. Uh, in here, we have, uh, yes, the information of the transition work. And the next thing that we have to do is one, uh, I have a worksheet for you. Just let me send it to the WhatsApp because it's a, a word document. Mm -hmm. Have you received it? Yes, teacher. John. Yes. Okay. So I know it is um time is pretty short. Now let, let's uh let's see. Okay. This is the uh worksheet that I sent. Through the WhatsApp, we can start analyzing it and see what are we going to do to, with this. If you want, if you want, and if you can, you can um, print it, have it handy for tomorrow. Or if you can take a look at it uh, during the day before the class, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, in the part one, you have to read the sentence and select the correct answer or choice uh, for example we have here margaret buys a cup of coffee at the newsstand and luego dice she goes to work 
it is so or then the correct conjunct, the, the correct uh, transition word. So is the consequencia, y then is the uh, orden de secuencia. Una, la primera es consecuencia y then es secuencia. ¿Cuál sería la correcta? Then, teacher. Then, ajá, porque está, está hablando de una secuencia, está conectando lo que va después. Margaret buys a cup of coffee at the newsstand. Then, ajá, then she goes to work. Y aquí tenemos answer, then. Luego tenemos number one. Y ahí para continuar con el ejemplo, we have a mouse in the house. Unfortunately or therefore, ¿cuál de estas dos será? Unfortunately or therefore, we should get a cat. Unfortunately. Therefore, therefore. Therefore, porque uh -huh, therefore es like the consequence, uh -huh. por lo tanto, es como decir, um, we have a mouse in the house. Therefore, we should get a cut. Deberíamos tener um, a cut. Uh -huh. So, ya tienen el documento ahí. Esta sería la parte una con varios ejercicios para analizar, ¿verdad? Y practicarla. Y luego es insert the best alternative. Ahí tenemos que ir escribiendo aquí cuál de estas tres será la mejor eh, alternativa, dependiendo de lo que veamos acá. Entonces, eh, les dejo el documento en avance para que lo puedan, si tienen chance, because I know um, there is lots of things to do during the day, so probably you will have the chance. Or if not, al menos tal vez si lo quieren imprimir, pues ya lo tienen ahí y con eso vamos a arrancar la clase el día de mañana. Uh, so that would be it for today. <laughs> yeah, time is over. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for your participation. And uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you. For happy the ones night. that are happy suffering night. for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have a happy night, Christina.